I have been very lucky over <clears throat> my many years doing this to work with some outstanding vocalists, not only jazz vocalists, but classical vocalists, vocalists from the theater. Um, but what I look for in a jazz vocalist is the ability to be spontaneous, the ability to tell a story in a personal way, a sound, of course, rhythmic security and musicianship. Um, it's been so many years since I played trio backing up a singer. It's something I do not do anymore. Uh, so if I play with a singer, a jazz singer, it's always in a duo format because that, that allows me to be the most myself. I can kind of create a, an orchestral bed or a rhythmic bed for the singer. But I expect them also to listen to me. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to just read somebody's charts, you know. Um, I, I, I'm not really wild about the word accompanist, um, although it does mean to go with someone, you accompany somebody on a journey. Um, I prefer kind of partner, maybe collaborator. You know, it's, as I said, it's not like singer and then pianist down the hall, you know. It should be together um, and spontaneous and connected. Um, uh, and some singers we do, you know, special material and others it's just we call tunes and <clears throat> or a mix of both. Uh, I also compose a lot of tunes that have words to them either by me or by largely by the wonderful British singer and lyricist Norma Winston. Uh, so that's kind of a body of repertoire that I've created for singers and people seem to like them and record them. So that's our kind of contribution to the genre. Hi, I'm Fred Hirsch, and for more videos, please go to jazztimes.com.